Today we will be showing you how to replace a routing engine card in a Juniper EX series line card style network switch. This video does not apply to the other line cards in the chassis, it only applies to the routing engine. To begin, you will need to determine if you have single or dual routing engines. Dual routing engines will allow you to replace the faulty routing engine without disruption or downtime to the network. However, a single routing engine will require downtime as the routing engine must be completely halted before it can be replaced. If you have a single routing engine, you can keep watching from here. If you have dual routing engines, you may skip ahead to the next part of the video that applies to you. If you have a single routing engine and downtime is scheduled, you will need to halt the routing engine by using the command shown on screen. The process for halting a routing engine may take up to 5 minutes. Once the message on the CLI displays that the operating system has halted, you will be cleared to replace the routing engine. If you have dual routing engines, you will need to determine if the routing engine you need to replace is currently set as the primary. You can observe this by looking at the master LED on the routing engines. If the one you need to replace is solid green, that means it is currently the master and will need to be switched to the secondary before you replace it. If it is blinking and not solid green, it is already the secondary and the next command will not need to be issued. If you need to switch the routing engine from master to secondary, ensure that you are first connected to the routing engine you are not replacing. Then use the command shown on screen to switch routing engine priority. Then observe the master light on the faulty routing engine to ensure it is now the secondary and not primary. Once you have ensured the faulty routing engine is not set as the primary and you are connected to the CLI of the primary routing engine, use the command on screen to halt the faulty routing engine. The process for halting a routing engine may take up to 5 minutes. Once the message on the CLI displays that the operating system has halted, you will be cleared to replace the routing engine. Label and disconnect any cables going to the routing engine and then also remove any transceivers and set them to the side. Some line card machine series will have captive screws securing each routing engine into the chassis. If your line card machine has these, you will need to undo the captive screws. Then you can use the eject handles to unseat the routing engine from the chassis. Then carefully slide the routing engine straight back and out of the chassis and set it to the side. Slide the replacement routing engine into the chassis and secure it, again using whatever method applies to your chassis model. Reinstall all transceivers and cables into the line card. You will observe the power light on the replacement routing engine go solid green after a few minutes, which means it is now fully powered up. Go back into the CLI and use the command shown on screen to ensure that the same version of Junos, as well as the configuration of the switch, is copied over to the replacement routing engine. Once this has been completed, the replacement is now done. If you have any issues with your routing engine replacement, please contact us at support at and we will assist you.